you're about to meet three people whose lives have been thrown into chaos by brains which have taken over their bodies. Kath Lockett is facing life with a voice she doesn't recognize. Can you say grandfather? Granddaughters. Karen Kath Lockett lives in Stafford in the Midlands with a husband and two teenage children. She suffers from a strange disorder which has doctors baffled. I love all this uh, to the detail on this, or gorgeous, eh? Sometimes they say I'm French, then they say I'm Italian, then they say I'm German, I'm Croatian, I'm Gadian, Lithuanian, and one man very strange, but I was Japanese. Although she appears to have a foreign accent, Kath is English, and it's her first and only language. Oh, that's a nice one. You like that? Lots of detail, no? Is it one or is it two together? No? A lot of time you meet people and they keep saying you're foreign. And I'm going, no, I'm from Stanford. Oh, that's brothers. Her voice isn't the result of living abroad either. She only developed the accent in the last two years. Why did I lose the speech? Where did the, the speech go to make it sound as if I was foreign? Something that was bizarre almost when it happened. It's nothing that I've heard of before. There's no answers, no, none of the doctors can say where or why it's happened. Kath's symptoms began in March 2006, when she started suffering severe head pain. When it first happened, I was just uh, talking to my sister on the phone, and I started to slur. But well, the next morning, I was, it was like my, my mouth was going numb. So I thought, this is very strange. Things got worse over the next four days as Kath's speech became unintelligible. She couldn't speak at all and she had like a pen and paper to write and to communicate with everyone. And in the beginning, when I first read my own speech, I didn't even know if I was going to speak again. Kath was taken to hospital where she was diagnosed with a rare neurological condition called cerebral vasculitis, an inflammation of blood vessels in the brain that had starved language areas of vital oxygen. Gradually, her voice did start to return. But then, um, as I started to speak a little more, and more now I come out, it did sound different. I thought it was because I was relearning. She started to learn to speak again. This accent came with it, which was a big shock to everyone. I lose a 47-year-old speech in four days. Unknown to Kath and her family at the time, she'd become one of only a hundred known people in the last century who've developed an entirely new accent after suffering a brain injury. This condition's called foreign accent syndrome, and its precise cause is still a mystery to the medical community. The kind of movements you need to make speech happen are so complicated, it requires an enormous amount of brain power and the concerted efforts of lots of different parts of the brain, all working in harmony. And if you damage one of those bits of the brain, they can no longer do that job precisely. Before Kath lost her accent, she was a regular caller to a local radio station, and her old voice is unrecognisable. Then you've got people coming after registration so they can monitor the whereabouts of the children. You're always going to have a handful of art reluctant to want to go to school for whatever reason. What does that make you feel, Kath? Sir? 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 I just wanted to come back. I just don't want to be. I have nothing against foreign people, but I'm not trying to be foreign. I'm just trying to be me. It's part of the old, the old me. The thought I was there before. She has trouble with sentences and putting words together in long words. You can't say my name correctly, which is Amanda. She comes out Ama. It's again part of what you lose again. It's a Giron, don't you know? Not being able to say your own children's name correct. It's like you don't know them, you know? It's like you're a stranger. In the library, I get a book and stand from Darcy Bosseles. We just had it out of the libraries. Um, um, do you have here or able to get? Kath's accent has been a source of amusement for many locals in her hometown, making a trip to the shops difficult. At first, it really frustrated me when people in town made fun of my mum's accent, which I didn't find very, very nice. Sometimes I don't feel like I belong in Stafford Denimars. 
Sometimes I just don't want to be out at all. That's why I tend to pick the same shop, because I know the people see. But it's nice to get out, otherwise you'll be stuck in door all the time and not be no good, eh? With very rare syndromes such as these, sufferers can be frustrated by a lack of knowledge about their condition. So Kath's about to go on a journey to find out more and to see if there's any hope of a cure. I just want to be the person I was before the, the loss of Spesh. Sometimes I just want to be me. I don't want to be a fountain. Kath soon to discover she's not alone. Kath? Yeah.